In September 1863, a young boy made a shocking discovery on the beach of Digby Neck. He found a young man with no legs, semi-conscious on the sand. The stranger was terrified when the townsman tried to help him and tried to crawl back towards the sea. Soaking wet, he was finally taken to the home of the Albrights. He slowly recuperated, but remained ill-humoured and only uttered a few incoherent words. One of those words was interpreted as Jerome, and the name stuck. The wounds from his amputated legs were completely healed long before he was found. No one knew who he was, and Jerome either wouldn't or couldn't say. It turned out that he'd been found earlier in Chipman, New Brunswick. He was dying in the woods from hypothermia after falling into the icy river, his legs badly frostbitten. The local surgeon had to amputate them, and the man became a disliked member of the community because of his sullen personality 